gold and silver traded in a narrow zone throughout the week we have seen gold is struggling to break beyond 2530 while silver has also struggled at 30 dollar levels now interestingly the month has come towards an end and we are seeing a gold closing with the gains on monthly basis while silver has closed in red new month new beginning what to expect can we expect further bullishness can we expect gold to hit further highs and silver to bounce back as well or there is a possibility of a drop in the month of september what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading gold and silver in the coming week and for the rest of the month we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators this is a weekly and monthly review i do share my daily updates in fact twice a day i share the updates and targets first with the asia session next with the us session the subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support them at the end of every update i'll be sharing the trading levels and strategy so do watch till the end and do listen to it carefully let's start first gold followed with silver watch now first let's start with the monthly charts on the monthly charts you can see gold is forming higher highs here for last few months we have seen it trading bullish and yes higher lows are also seen and it is forming a nice bullish channel here now what has happened this month you can see preceding highs it has breached but it has closed below or you can see this red line which is a long term channel it is closed below this channel which is still suggestive gold is finding it difficult to break further on the upside but if you look at the formation here you will find we can see higher lows higher highs in the coming month if you see gold trading above 2532 2550 zone if you see gold trading above this zone you can say we will look forward to 2600 for sure if it breaks beyond 2532 2550 levels any point of time not necessarily in the coming week itself but yes it can take time for couple of weeks and once it breaks beyond 2532 2550 it is not going to come back till 2600 we are going to see it rallying high that is the first observation why see it is left a little wick on the upside and uh, once it breaks past the double top levels and higher highs here we can see a stronger rise can be expected that is the first part of it on the other hand if you interpret it like this see both the candles were outside pulling the bands we have put seen a push here from the upside we have seen a push here from the upside uh, in decision here and then a stronger breakout now what has happened in the last week see bulls in the last couple of weeks appears to have been exhausted we have seen uh, gold price failing to or break beyond 2530 2532 also it has closed outside bullinger bands thus it could start the month on a slight bearish note and see it can also show swings and on the downside now 2400 is possible that could be the lows it can also swing back from those levels but once it stays below 24 20 2400 levels i think the reversal probability will be very very less from those levels looking at the momentum as of now uh, we have to be careful here yes despite the lower end of this channel at 2380 i will still say even if it breaks 24 20 the chances of reversal will be less here in the coming month now why it could drop if you look at the rise here it is retraced the rise here it is retraced now it is trading with too much of divergence from the 20 period moving average thus possibility of a reversal exists here but if you look at the long term view what gold has delivered here is look at the highs here then the retracement or i can say a consolidation here for months and now since the last 6 to 8 months we have seen it giving a breakout at this point itself i have mentioned it is going to give a breakout and in the beginning of the year i have mentioned 2400 2500 should be seen now see this and it appears the second leg of this bull run is complete and possibility of a retracement cannot be denied stock i stick is overbought here look at the magdi trading with divergence is staying bullish looking upwards and again magdi is at a higher levels here you can see this was the highest post 2010 and we have seen gold crashing hard here 
Now, this was the highs post COVID and we have seen it crashing hard here. Now, it has come to the same zone. So, whatever highs we are seeing may remain either for this month, next month. Possibly, the uh, towards the end of the year also, mostly it can stay sideways also in the next couple of months. But a reversal has to come very, very soon. It can be the month of September as well. So, you have to be cautious. RSI is also entering into overbought zone. Look at this V-shape. It could deliver here the same. Now, let's have a look at the week. What has happened on the weekly charts? The rise. And see, uh, it has formed a base and a support at 2300. With that as support, you can see higher lows and higher highs are seen. Trading in the bullish channel, where are the lows of this channel? Towards 2400. And that is why I say now 2400, 2380 is the zone which is going to remain a critical support and ultimate one is far below at 23 now when you talk about 2300 2280 levels you can see this is almost 10 percent from the current levels 10 percent you can say correction is not a bigger move i can see it is possible very much but right now the move is not very much supportive of such a stronger correction if you look at the weekly charts what has happened for the last couple of weeks it is consolidating higher lows lower highs are seen also after an indecision we have seen first red candle in the coming week if you see it is staying below 2480 we can say more bearishness to be seen i will look forward to 2448.50 and below that we can see it correcting till towards 24 40 levels and below that more bearishness may prevail and you can look forward to 2400 2380 or in fact 2350 levels but uh, uh, i think it is going to be difficult as you can see after a bit of consolidation it is on an up move and it has still got a lot much of room on the upside stock i think here is extremely overbought Mag now this is also interesting look at magdi look at the highs it has delivered here and where it is positioned right now and this is the record high levels on a weekly MACD. What is happening at best after the crossover here, it is retraced. It is trying to uh, either form a double top or in fact, the reversal from the current levels cannot be denied because see, there is not much of white space available on the downside. And this is coming from extremely higher levels. Also, if you look at rise retracement rise it has to retrace and there is lot much of room on the downside thus on the upside i think for the next few weeks you have to be extremely cautious and uh, vigilant because the reversal has to be there very very soon which is going to stay there for few weeks or months as well rsi overbought as well coming to daily look at the daily charts here look at this red line perfectly getting the resistance here at around this and you can see it also delivering higher lows and lower highs till 25 30 levels in the coming week we have to be cautious 25 30 32 beyond this you can expect 25 40 and 50 but if you look at the formation it is getting a very strong resistance it is shying away to break beyond 25 30 40 uh, 40 zone and thus now See, what it has also done, it has waited for the moving average to climb up. It has moved towards moving average 2494, proving out to be a great, great support. I will wait for these two levels and this zone to be taken. Any move below 2480 should be a sign that we can, in fact, look forward to 2450 as the next target. And we can look forward to further lows from 2450. And then next support is very nearby 2440. If these two levels are taken, we can look forward to a greater curve. Right now, I can see gold is hesitant to break on the upside. And thus, this could confirm a slight reversal or slight retracement on the downside. But again, till 2480, do not trade gold as bearish for the coming week moving averages here are divergent and are staying bullish if you look at a stock i think this has hit the highs this is looking downwards trying to trade bearish while if you talk about the mag magdi here also see uh though i can see a symmetry here look at the peak here and look at the rise it has but right now it is crossed over and post crossover it can it can deliver a down move here which can take it towards the lows towards the bottom here RSI is also looking down. On the 4 hour charts, if you look at, on the 4 hour charts, see uh, how strong is the connection here. Look at this, look at this. In my daily updates, I have mentioned and highlighted this fact several times that, see, gold is trying to break here on the upside, but it is failing to do so. 
and you can see every time it is moved towards 25 26 and thus this zone has become a critical resistance while on the downside also if you see there are greater supports available 2494 is one of them 2480 is this another one yes it is staying in the box it has to come out of the box either which way is in order to confirm a direction here and i will say till 2480 we have very very good support for gold here on the downside and then we can look forward to 2450 levels the stock has taken bottom here macd is also right now trading bearish on the four hour charts and rsi has dropped so now we have seen the charts you've seen the indicators let me give you the trading levels for the coming week and for the month of august and before i give you the trading levels and the strategy if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram write an email or connect with me over telegram for your queries related to the services and yes we trade diverse instruments including multiple indices and commodities from across the globe in one signal channel and one single channel so do join the profit making signals channel today itself and yes those who had asked me to recommend a broker which offers you a swap free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description it offers a safer environment for you to transact and withdraw as well now let's talk about the levels to buy in the coming week if you see gold is staying above 25 well you can buy here but then i will uh, recommend you to wait for 25 20 25 26 and then 25 30 32 now this is these are definitely critical levels for gold to break past by all of them all of them are very very critical and stronger resistances once it breaks beyond this zone you can expect a good bullish move which can take it towards 2540 in fact till 2540 i will say that uh, gold can reverse any point of time beyond 2540 i will look forward to 2550 and once it stays beyond 2550 any point of time in the coming week or in the month of september we can straight away wait for 2576 and 2601 levels very much possible once it breaks out once it breaks beyond 2550 zone you can say we are looking forward to a stronger momentum first this second this and in fact 26 20 levels can be seen here uh though in my expectation i think the bulls in gold appears to have exhausted here and we have to wait but the bears are also not very much active that is my concern point now let's talk about where to sell. i will recommend a sell at 2494 where you can expect it to move towards 2487 2484 see I, I cannot avoid it but these are definitely good support levels below 2479 and 2471 if it breaks this see very very nearby and very good support levels we have seen in last few weeks below this is where we can look forward to a greater move yeah, i will be looking forward to 2450 levels here as the next target then 2438 as the next and if it breaks these levels just stay short we are looking forward to 2418 and then 2398 below this is also possible you can look forward to 2382 and then 2350 levels below this you can expect 2300 see these are markets anything and everything is possible uh, i can see modest bearishness in the coming week and the month but i will not say that it is going to crash or reverse completely but yes a little erosion can be expected and yes a sink also can be expected as long as it respects 2450 levels on the down the chances of a pullback will be high in fact as i mentioned 24 20 levels as long as it there will be a 50 percent probability that it can reverse and uh, close the month in green below 24 20 i do not see it coming back below that 23 80 23 50 should be seen take your trades accordingly let's have a look at now silver on the monthly charts have closed in red this is the third straight consolidation candle here for silver after giving this breakout from 22 dollar levels and hitting the highs at 32.40 we have seen it just consolidating here now what is happening here in silver you can see this see it has delivered a very good bullish wave after consolidation here for a few 
couple of more years where we have seen it is staying in the zone and at this point this was the first bull run then consolidation and then this is the bull run here so in the long term first bull run second one is and post this it is trying to consolidate now it is not that the bulls in silver are exhausted you can see that till it respects 25 dollar levels or in fact let me include 22 as well till the time it respects this zone we should not be treating silver as now what has happened in the last month see first bearish candle in decision and the last month it has delivered a bearish candle here on the upside now 30 dollar levels have become a milestone for silver to break below beyond and if it breaks this then you can look forward to a, a good rise but then 32 is another milestone it needs to break what has happened after the indecision this is the first bearish candle it could start the month on a bearish note it can in fact slump sharp it can in fact because see i am interested here in this lower lows and when you connect the lower lows you will find 26 or in fact 2550 is possible in the month of september if it continues to trade bearish from the current levels now where can you confirm that uh, yes gold uh, silver has turned bearish and we are looking forward to 26 see at 2780 2750 zone if it breaks i think the chances will be very very high that we can look forward to a greater correction else it is still not bearish because see uh, if you look at these three candles in succession and if you look at the move here you will find uh, the complete move for the last three months is engulfed between this one single candle and thus as long as the lows of this candle is not taken we should not be treating silver as bearish the stock ISTIC is looking down while the MACD if you look at see too much of divergence here look at the fat belly here and now look at the candles here this is diminishing in size and this suggests that there could be a conversion but if you largely look at the movement here silver has got lot much of up move left here only thing here is it can converge here for a couple of months or more before rising RSI comfortable here coming to weekly now on the weekly charts see this uh, rise retracement rise retracement rise retracement now what has happened here if you look at this the rise started here from 26 what it has done it has delivered a nice flag formation here and thus it is very very important for it to come out of this flag formation any breakout beyond uh, 30 20 30 50 and then 32 is a sign that we will look forward to another round of rally so these levels you should watch out for in the coming week and in the month of september specifically when you see a breakout on the upside but right now if you look at what has happened silver has delivered a bearish candle here and this is almost symmetrical here the coming candle might deliver the lows here where the prices can keep moving towards downside and in fact it can hit the 26 dollar levels as well in the single candle itself so coming week you have to be cautious here specifically on the upside it can still it is still not to be treated bullish here possibility adjust more that we can see a red candle here on the down but as i said 26 here is going to be a very very good support uh, which 26 25 80 levels is as long as it respect chances of a reversal will be high as it is still trading bullish here if you look at the stock elastic after hitting the lows it is looking upwards and it suggests that it's further room for upside but when you see the MACD on the weekly on the weekly charts what is MACD doing here rise retracement rise it is retracing and see this is willing to hit the bottom of it which suggests that silver might deliver a bearish candle which suggests that silver might keep moving towards 26 dollar levels possibility is there but i will say for now do not treat silver as bearish as long as uh first 27 80 28 or in fact 27 50 is not taken and then uh, below that 26 20 26 dollar levels is not taken again these are going to be the support and it is going to bounce back that also you should keep a note of rsi has dropped coming to daily now look at daily charts and if you look at the formation in silver on the daily charts drop retracement drop retracement and this is a nice flag formation and nice bearish channel it is making where is the lows of this channel towards again towards 26 so this appears that 26 could be a probable target in silver very very soon else it has to break beyond 30 30 20 in order to confirm a breakout on the upside right now what is happening here on the daily charts i can see the moving averages are still staying bullish 
and it is closed at a support zone and thus once you see silver trading below 2860 levels in the coming week 2860 2840 zone once it breaks i will be looking forward to 28 as the next support 2750 as the second and in fact we can see it moving towards 27 and lower levels very very soon yes it is delivering lower highs and lower lows possibility exists that we can see a correction here the stock has to get bottom maybe trying to converge crossover for a sell more bearishness may prevail here rsi has dropped as well coming to four hour. on the four hour chart similar the observations moving average is willing to converge crossover for a sell right now i can see greater resistance here at 2960 and then 30 so yes it is creating steps here it has to break either on the upside or on downside in order to confirm a move here stock has to get bottom might be bearish rsi at bottom so now we have seen the charts and indicators time for me to give you the trading levels and the strategy and do not miss to join my signals channel and enjoy profits and yes uh, join the recommended broker through the link and enjoy the lowest spreads and no hidden charges and no swaps as, as well now let's talk about the levels to buy firstly on the upside now in the coming week 29 and 29 20 very very good resistance here if it breaks this i will be looking forward to the next one at 29 60 65 levels this is going to be the most critical one any move about this should be only treated as a confirmation of an up move and then we could look at $30 levels and in fact $30.25. If it breaks this, stay bullish, we can look forward to $30.50. And if it breaks this, stay bullish, we are looking forward to $31.05, $31.50. Now this is completely applicable for the month of September, not only for the coming week alone, but for the month of September as well. Though as far as my expectations are considered, as long as it stays below 3050, I will be not treating silver as bullish for the month. And once it breaks beyond 3050, I will not expect it to drop as well. It is going to really strong. This is one part of it. So mark these levels. These are definitely going to remain critical levels on the upside. On the downside, I will recommend a sell at 2870 levels here. Or rather, I will wait for 2860 levels here. Expect 2840, 28 dollar levels, and then we can look forward to 2775, 2750. Once it breaks below 2750, I do not see it looking back up again. We can look forward to 2710 and then 2670, then 2640, and then you can look forward to 26 dollar levels. Now, this is not only applicable for the coming week, but also for the rest of the month, for the month of September. So, a possible down move can be expected in September, but largely I can say you have to be cautious. Do not treat this as bearish as of now. It can uh, definitely bounce back strong up again. Take your trades accordingly. Like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship band. Join my signals channel. Reach out to me for your queries related to the services. Join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships on YouTube to support the effort. Do not miss to watch every day, uh, twice a day updates on silver and gold. That will add lot much to your trading decisions. Join my free telegram channel for live updates. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading week ahead and a happy weekend. Thank